All right, I don't know if my uh, camera is gonna zoom out further enough for you guys to be the, uh, able to see exactly what I'm doing, but uh, basically you get the get the bolt off here. Make sure it's off. Then you just uh, pull it as tight as you can. Just just like when you when you think you're gonna start moving the crankshaft, that's when you press it down. You you hold it here, one finger, you get your zip tie, you get it around here, put it on. Then you tie it down. And then you do the same thing uh get a little bit further back so you're sure. Uh, it's not gonna move while you're trying to get it over the the, the tensioner. All right, here comes the tricky part. Um, I think I forgot to get a mention this when I uh, before I took off this roller, but you need to uh, get the approximate location of where this tab is gonna be pointed at before you take it off. Just get a make make a mental note and put it roughly around the same. Um, you can adjust it. Just it takes it needs a special tool, but you can just live with some just some needle nose pliers, pliers, you know. Because if you leave it here, and then you take this pin out, um, this piston is gonna travel way too high. There's a certain space that we need to maintain between the piston. So if you, you know, you just want to make sure you get it in the right right area and the the space we need to maintain between the piston and this this part of the the tensioner the roller is six to ten millimeters. And we're gonna be able to measure that by uh, using uh, drill bits. You know, get an eight millimeter drill bit and see if it can uh, squeeze in there, and then you're good. But before we do that, we need, before we take this uh, tab out of the piston, we're gonna get this to this area, to roughly around that area, and tighten this bolt up, right? Next, we're gonna take this tab out. There we go. Get some space in there now. And get our eight millimeter uh, drill bit. And it looks like it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's just barely fitting in there. It's still probably within spec, but uh, gonna have to adjust it and the way we do that is uh, I'm gonna get this thing on here it's gonna be tricky <laughs> I'm gonna get this plier on gonna make sure it's in there tight hold it in place hold it in place make sure while when you loosen this it doesn't jump back and uh, then you just gonna let go of it slightly when you loosen this nut Then you tighten back up. And you measure it again. Ah, just so close. Do it again. You know guys, actually I think I need to uh, clarify something here. <laughs> um, okay, so when you put this, this roller back on, uh, before you release the pin that holds the tensioner, the piston and the tensioner in place. Uh, I know I said to remember where this approximate position is, but uh, just to be on the safe side, you want to tighten this down while this pointer is approximately even higher than uh, where you or where your, where or your original one was, just to be on the safe side. Because when it's higher, once you release this pin, this is going to be lower. But if you let's say uh, it was here and then you roughly you know you put it on the same same place and then you release the tensioner and for some whatever reason you know just the t different tension of the new belt and whatnot and this becomes uh, this goes higher you're gonna have to push that all the way back in using this slot and putting the new pin back in and redo it again.
because uh, you can't adjust it lower as you know like the same way you can adjust it to come back higher hope that makes sense before we start turning our crankshaft we want to make sure we cut the zip ties all right we got our harmonic balancer back on and we line up our mark we made earlier and now we double check it with the camshaft uh, mark and we can tell that it's about a uh, half a tooth off <laughs> um, you know I'm not gonna worry about this too much uh, I've done a lot of timing bolts well not a whole lot but done timing bolts on a lot of different cars and uh, sometimes they come off by half a tooth when you go to line them back up but uh, it's uh, usually not a problem it's you know if, it, if it's off by clearly by more than one tooth then you've done something wrong but it's just like you know it's iffy and you can say you consider it a, it's considered half a tooth then you should be okay um, so yeah but before we I put start putting everything back on I'm gonna hook up the alternator back on and then I'm gonna start the engine and uh, also make sure you put the put the thermostat uh, the hose that goes to the thermostat housing back on so you don't get water going everywhere and then I'm gonna put the alternator back on and then it's gonna start the engine let it run for you know 30 seconds or a minute you know if it's if your timing belt is off it's gonna set off a quote you know you're gonna get some uh, codes and then that way uh, you can go in we go you can go back in and uh, start uh, you know trying to fix the problem all right so we just we just finished uh, putting uh, some cooling in the car and I ran the car for a couple of minutes and it ran without any problems no check engine light no uh, uh, no uh, bad idling or nothing uh, uh, yeah while well, putting a car back together I never really run into any problems uh, one thing I want to point out is though if you want these uh, your headlights and your uh, fenders to uh, to line up correctly what you want to do is before you lock down this uh, before you put in this uh, shock absorber that connects to your uh, front bumper what you want to do is have someone either pull up on their lock, lock carrier or get your knee underneath underneath it and uh, push it up as you're uh, tightening down one of those screws that way uh, you know you can adjust it and make sure it lines up correctly otherwise it's gonna look pretty ugly or uh, it's gonna look like your car's been in an accident to a to an unsuspecting uh, observer <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah you know we're all done here and I uh, hope this video helps people out there and uh, if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions or suggestions please leave them below and uh, see you guys next time thanks for watching